National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan today suggested that the U.S. and close allies would provide embattled Ukrainian forces with further systems capable of launching multiple rockets to possibly include more of the sophisticated U.S. high-mobility artillery rocket systems, known as HIMARS. The caveat, however, is that enough Ukrainian troops first must be trained to use them on the battlefield, he told the Center for a New American Security. It's the Ukrainians' job to ask for as many as they can possibly get their hands on, he said, and it's our job to deliver to them to the extent that we feel there are trained personnel and the capacity to actually put those to use in an effective way. And so we have given an initial four, and actually we have moved the training at a really rapid and efficient pace so that those can be deployed onto the battlefield in short order. According to media reports, Ukraine has asked the Biden administration for somewhere between 60 and 100 more MRs following the delivery of the four truck-mounted rocket launchers earlier this month. Sullivan, however, was coy about the specifics of both what Kiev wants, as well as what exactly Washington might provide, saying only that there would be additional deliveries of long-range fire capabilities. In the next drawdown package from the United States, we anticipate that there will be further delivery of systems, Sullivan said. So we have to take it step by step, and one of the key considerations in how we deliver these systems is how many can be absorbed effectively onto the battlefield. These are highly sophisticated systems that require real training, he elaborated. We've trained an initial cadre of Ukrainians to be able to use them, but as you increase the number of systems, you obviously have to increase the number of personnel being prepared to use them. So that will be a process that unfolds over the course of the coming weeks and months. Sullivan elaborated that Mars was discussed during President Joe Biden's conversation with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky yesterday, but he refrained from making any new promises. Indeed, the three countries on June 15th issued a joint statement to that end. Following the U.S. HIMARS announcement on June 1st, the U.K. on June 6th announced it would donate three M270 MLRS launchers with guided MLRS, GMLRS, munitions. According to the joint statement, Germany intends to transfer three M270 Mittler's artillery rate 10 system, MARS, launchers and GMLRS ammunition from Bundeswehr stocks. The statement, however, very pointedly reiterates that these systems can strike targets at approximately 70 kilometers, a distance that is actually under the range of Hamars depending on the type of rocket it fires, but which Washington said is a cap in its agreement with Ukraine.